Hi guys, I'm Emmy Lou. I'm a London-based fashion photographer and welcome to Diaries of a Wannabe Pro. Now, I recently received an email asking me what skills I found that I've needed as a fashion photographer apart from the, the normal skills of understanding your camera and your lighting and poses, things like that. So the one thing that I thought of immediately was having people skills. For me, it's, it's hugely important that you can find a way to connect with your model and to connect with your clients and your team members as well. If, if you're at the stage where it's just you, the photographer, and your model, then you can really, really work on your people skills with just your model and really take it to basics there. Particularly if you've got a new model who's just starting out, then he or she might be quite shy, quite nervous. And so if you can find a way to really put them at ease and really get the best out of them, then your photograph will really go from here to way up here because of the way that you're making them feel about themselves. Now once you've mastered the skill of really putting your subject at ease, you can then move on to being able to deal with large groups of people. Now I started out, just as I said, just me as the photographer with my model. I then moved up to working with just a makeup artist and then from there after I was more confident I'd get a hairstylist involved, then I'd also get a wardrobe stylist involved. Now I've got a couple of assistants as well, my hair and makeup team have assistants and so now it's a much bigger team and I think the point I'm trying to make is that for me it was a gradual progression of being able to deal with different, um, different sized groups of people. So I began with um, just a couple of people in my team as I said and I've moved it on up and it really does make a huge difference if you're able to manage the people that you're with. Of course you want them to like you, they might be your friends, they might not be your friends, but if they're, if they're happy then your shoot is happy. Um, you obviously don't want to be pushed around, that's not something that you want. So you really do have to find that fine line between making sure that everyone is happy but also getting their very very best from that shoot that you possibly can. So again I'm just coming back to the point that your people skills are just massively massively important with something like this. Um, if you can really try and understand the people that you're with, understand the job that they have to do, you really will get a far better shoot at the end of it. Now moving on from that, once you've really developed your skills with talking to big groups of people and getting the best out of them and the best out of your model, you then have to consider how you talk to a prospective client. Of course a client's going to book you based on your work, but they are also booking you on, on you, on your personality. So you really do have to come across the very, very best that you can to them. Um, now they will book you partly on, on who you are because they have to deal with you quite a lot, particularly if it's a big shoot that they're booking you for. They want to know that they can talk to you at any time of the day, um, as many times as they want without getting irritated um, and, and with feeling that they're being listened to, they're being respected and understood. So being able to deal with clients one-on-one -on -one like that in in a polite and friendly manner is, is really, really important and that is something that does come with practice. Now, some of you will be fantastic at this already. You will have been in jobs where you have to manage teams of people, where you have to talk to people, maybe you're in customer service roles and you've got this down already. Um, other other people, you won't have, have had to deal with people in quite the same way and perhaps it would be a really good idea to really just think about how you're talking to people and and whether you're understanding their role and, and how they're feeling just so you can get the very very best from them because I really do guarantee that if if you understand where your team and your model is coming from and you can communicate effectively with them your photograph really will go from you know one 
one level where it is at the moment up to the next level uh, because communication in, in life in general but certainly in photo shoots is really really important. Um, so that's my question answered um, really. There are so many skills that we that we need um, but being able to communicate effectively with people really really is a huge one. So good luck with all of that. Please do keep on sending your emails to me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I really love answering your questions. You know I always, always email you back and if I get enough interest with certain questions then I create these videos for you. I hope it's been helpful and I will speak to you again soon. Goodbye for now.